Welcome back. If you've got room in your garden and don't know what to do with it, Charlie and Sharon have tips on how you can maximize your space on this week's In the Garden. Charlie, look at these lilies behind us. They're amazing. Unbelievable, huh? <laughs> these are trumpet lilies, and they're in their full glory. Oh, my. They get up a good four or five feet tall. They come in a variety of colors, and what's beautiful about them is that they have really strong stems, so you can see they're standing up on their own. Even though they're as tall as we are, exactly. they're not falling over. Exactly, yeah. and you can see right inside of them, and they have beautiful uh, hearts all the way down, and they have a nice scent to them. In fact, if you stick your nose in there, <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just beautiful. I love these things. Yeah. But what this highlights, because there's a lot of them here, is that if you have a big border, if you have a big garden area, and you're trying to fill it in with perennial plants, whether it be shrubs or flowers or bulbs, you want to use a lot of plants to do that. Yeah. And it's better to, to stick with a fewer number of varieties of plants, but have more bigger of them. Bigger batches of and them. Bigger batches of them. So whether it be all these lilies that are really just doing a beautiful job here, mm -hmm. or the rush sage, the perovskia, that's mm -hmm. just starting to flower in the back. Or you can see the echinacea areas. There's just yeah. tons of echinacea around there. And even amongst the echinacea, you can have little surprises. Uh -huh. Look at those little red hot pokers, which are not red, they're white, because that's the variety. Yeah. Uh, but that is a cool little flower, almost like a tropical flower, and it's just kind of dancing around in the breeze. Add, it's, add some texture in there, yeah. Add some texture, add some interest. Even if you have plants that have gone by, by putting masses of them in letting them fill in a space, they still look nice because all that green over there is really Baptisia. Uh -huh. And that flowered, of course, in the spring, and now it's gone by. And in the plant behind it... But it's it, still beautiful. Yeah, it's still beautiful. And the plant behind it is an elderberry with a black foliage, a black lace elderberry. So the idea behind all of this is that make sure you have lots of plants, whether it be tall plants and big plants, even down to strawberries. There's some alpine strawberries oh, yeah. over there. Can we eat those? Oh, yes, you can, <laughs> but not now. <laughs> or the Japanese forest grass, too, with the bright yellow leaves. Having masses of plants, similar plants in the area, fills it in quickly. You have less weeds you have to worry about, and then you stagger them based on their flowering time or just based on the foliage color, so you always have some interest from spring to fall. Beautiful.